Hello everyone and welcome back, this is Sleepless Ninja. And today I'm going to show you how to unroot your Zoom and how to make it go back to its stock image. Now this works for a US or a global um, Zoom, um, any version, Wi-Fi, 3G. Um, so um, don't worry, this guide is for you. Now, what you need to do is you need to download the stock um, root image. And so I have this link, go to it, and then download the one that particularly caters to your device. So if you have a Wi-Fi 3G European, download that one for your particular country, and so forth. So that's why this is kind of universal. You have to get your particular stock image, but the rest of the steps follow through. Once you did that, you also need your Android SDK installed here. Um, look at my prior Android... Um, rooting videos, look at the general rooting guide um, that I have on my website sleeplessninjas.com uh, if, if you don't have that installed or don't know how to do that and basically I'm gonna go navigate there now Android SDK and then I'm gonna go to platform tools and what I did is that zip file that um, I had that had the stock image had a boot.img, a system.img, a recovery.img, and a user data.img. I unzipped that and put them in my platform tools in my Android SDK. Now, um, you might not have a user data.img. Don't worry. Um, there's, a, there's a workaround for that. Not all of the stock images come with one. So, now let's begin. My Zoom is plugged in via USB and it's on the home screen and I have USB enabled um, you can check down here if you don't have the USB debugging enabled go to your applications application settings development and check that box off and now all that we have to do um, is if your zoom is not unlocked again check out my other root guides my videos will show you how to unlock um, your zoom you need an unlocked bootloader to be able to load things, the stock image, for instance, on your Zoom. Okay, this will void your warranty. My other videos will describe that in great detail. Follow them if you're not at that step. If you'd already have it unlocked, because most of you have probably rooted your Zoom, like, um, then all you have to do is go to ADB and. Uh, reboot bootloader and of course if you don't have it in your path um, and again my other videos talk about it you're gonna wanna do period forward slash ADB but I have it in my path but either way works okay what's gonna happen when typing that in is the zoom is then gonna restart you see it went black and now it's gonna come up and we're on the dual core screen and it's gonna say starting fast boot protocol support from here you're good and now what we're gonna do is those image files we're now gonna push on to the zoom so this is very simple all we need to do is fast boot and my version is the fast boot Mac okay so I need to type that in if you have the regular fast boot just plain and simple you just type that in boot boot.img okay so that's the command let me expand this a little so you can see it a little better in totality so we have fast boot dash mac which is a command flash which is a command and boot which is a command and this is the file boot.image which is came from that zip file okay that you that has your stock so this is the stock boot.image that you downloaded press enter And you'll see, not only does it talk here, but on your Zoom, it will say that it's adding it. If you want, and your battery's not charged all the way, you might want to um, plug it in. Just a suggestion, you don't have to take it. Okay, so now that you did the boot.image, you want to do the system.image now. So, fast boot, flash, system system dot image okay and it's 
says stuff and it's going to be saying it here too. It's a rather large file so it might take some time. You can see both screens are just kind of paused and here we go. Now it's writing it. Okay, and then you can see here, this says it was done. So now that the system is on, what you want to do now is put the recovery. Also, all of these are coming from that zip file that you downloaded from the link that I provided. So we just want to do the recovery.image. Okay. And again, like before, press enter. And you'll see the screens being updated. And the status went rather fast. And then of course, now the last one, user data. As I stated before, you might not have this. That is not a problem. First I'm going to write this and then I'll describe if you do not have user data, what to do. So, just press enter. And it's sending, writing, And it's done, okay? Now, if you don't have user data, what you want to type in is the fastboot erase user data. Only if you don't have user data. You want to type in fastboot erase user data. Okay? So that's only a sidestep if you don't have that. And now the next command you want to type in, and this is for everyone, is fastboot erase cache and I forgot that I had a Mac so now it's just erasing the cache it's pretty fast you you know get a little status on the bottom of the screen for that and then you want to do this is actually locking it back up for the bootloader. Again, I did it. And then it's just gonna display some juicy tidbits on the screen. So you're about to lock your device. Once locked, only the latest authorized software image can be loaded onto the device. Okay. So. What I want to do, if you press volume up, you're going to cancel. But if you press volume down, you can select your new choice. So I'm going to press my new choice. And I want to say yes. And then volume up is the select button. Okay, and now it's going to be formatting. And once this is done, ladies and gentlemen, you will have a Zoom that is now locked, it is now unrooted, and is now um, back to its original state. Now, of course, if you didn't root, um, but uh, you wanted to revert it back to the original state, it will do that. You know, you, there's, you know it's just the happens that it's an all-in-one right here. It's like a full stock to recovery right here. I'm going to kind of prop this up.
And now we're going to reboot. So, for you, those of you um, who's familiar with my device, if this really reverted back to stock, um, you'll know that I had a custom boot screen. So I should no longer have that custom boot screen if it really went back to stock. And based on which image I installed, I will have a different uh, kernel. I, I was having the time at, so I will no longer have that kernel. And we'll, we'll check all of these things um, just to confirm that this was successful. And you can see, this is the stock. So, this is already good signs that what we're doing did work. And I'm going to just put this down and I'm going to quickly pan back when it's finished. Say I'm at the welcome screen. Now I'm going to just configure the zoom and then go back once I'm done that. Okay, and you can see I'm back at the stock. If I go to my settings and I go to about tablet, you can see I'm at 3.01, which is what indeed I installed, and that I have the default Android corner. So this was successful, and I now successfully reverted my zoom back, unrooted, locked the bootloader, and it is back um, to when it was uh, pretty much first purchased. I hope this tutorial was useful. Um, please like if you thought it was. Um, as always, this is a pleasure. Um, feel free to embed my videos um, where, wherever you think they will be useful. You know, spread the word, help help the community. Um, I do not mind at all. The only thing that I mind is if you were to take it and then say you made that video, upload it as onto a video site as if it was your video. I wouldn't appreciate that. But if you want to embed it somewhere, you ha you you have my permission. You know, I enjoy making these videos and helping the community and um look forward to the next one. Next one will most likely be rooting from 3.1. Thank you everyone. I had a wonderful time and I hope you did too. Have a great day.